Today, we will look into the revision of complex line integrals. Complex line integrals allows us to evaluate the integral of complex functions along a curve. The line integral of a complex function, the line integral of a complex function f of z, the line integral of a complex function of, of a complex function along a cup C is given by f of z is z. Now, the integral, the integral, the integral is evaluated, the integral is evaluated over over the curve C and represent the differential the differential length along the curve. Now to compute a line integral, we often parameterize the curve C using parameters T. So this parameter T is used to parameterize the curve. Now, for example, let's assume we have our Z of T equal to X of T plus I of Y of T, where where our x of t and y of t are real valued functions. Now, take note of the following. To define a complex integral, we need the following. One, we need the complex plane. The complex plane. That is to say, z is equal to x plus i y. Then number two, we also need the complex differential. The complex differential. Okay, this is uh, dx, dz equals to dx plus i dy, okay? Now, we also need a curve, a curve in the complex plane. That is uh, gamma of t equal to uh, x of t plus i y of t, okay? And this has to be defined for the interval A less than or equal to T. Of course, that's also less than or equal to B. 
Then finally, it must also have a complex function. It must have it must have a complex function. And this is how it looks like f of z is equal to your u x of y plus your iv x x of y, okay? Now, quickly, I, I want us to just look at uh, some example problem. So let, let me take my first example here. If time permits, example one. So we're, we're, we're going to compute, we're going to compute uh, this. the Z along the straight line from the interval zero up to one plus I. This is one. Yeah? Now, this is a very simple problem. Solution here. Now, there is need for us to parameterize, parameterize call as y of t equal to t one plus i with the interval Zero less than uh, t and t less than equal to one according to the equation. So therefore a y prime of t will be equal to one plus ah let me show you to differentiate this, okay? Now now the the line integral is this is once we put our limit okay by the time we stop this in we have a one plus i square into of course uh, one plus i yeah of course, we're parameterized, so it means that we're not substituting our disease. Is that okay? If you do this uh, properly, you get a two i into one plus i or over three. So this this quite is little, okay? So this, this is our expression, okay? So all that divided by three. So let's see if we can still uh, let's see, take uh, let me take one more example now. Now example two. Now let's compute compute the integral. Of the of uh, of one two z minus z square. Is that okay? And given that. Uh, Given that uh, our absolute value of a z here 
equal to one. And take note that uh, this is oriented uh, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Now, to do this, we have our absolute uh, value of z equal to one. These are z here. So we have uh, dz over 2z minus, minus z squared. Okay? This will give us a uh, possible, you do the, then you, you invert. You have your 2 minus z. Over z, when you invert, we we'll bring our dz here. Okay. So when you do that, you get uh, you get your two pi i into two minus zero. Yeah, okay. So this will give you five. So these are a few examples for uh, applying our line integral formula. Okay. So thank you. Um, I hope to I hope to see you soon for more videos.